All right, folks. So this is The Witcher 3. Uh, I've been doing very little else but playing this game <laughs> for about the past week or more. Uh, yeah, playing this on the PC. And it's absolutely amazing. Uh, anyone who knows me will know I am a huge fan of Skyrim and Oblivion. So this is my type of RPG. It's just an open world and an absolute life stealer. So I'm just about to uh, do a mission here. It's one of the side quests. So not too many spoilers. I have to uh, fight a grave hag. Um, which you will see now. Ugly little bitch. Thief. Skulls he stole. My skulls ought to dig up his own. There she is. Right on cue. So this is one of the side missions. There's not gonna be too many spoilers in this game in this video. The story in this game is absolutely immense. Uh, I'm still getting the grips with everything. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm going to apply uh, a special oil to my sword, which basically makes it more powerful against certain enemies. So I've applied it to my silver sword here to make killing this bitch a bit easier. Now I will uh, loot her pockets and get all the goodies that she's dropped. Ooh, some nice stuff there. Oh, it looks like she's dropped a sword as well. Cool. And we'll have all that, thanks. So, because this was a side quest, I will have to go back to the guy who gave me the quest to get my reward. And what he's doing there was uh, he like will take part of their body as a trophy. And the trophy's hanging on the side of the horse there. <coughs> I'll just have a look at that sword that she dropped. That's the trophy there. As you can see it gives me 5% uh, more experience. And that's the trophy that I did have there from the last thing I killed. Uh, how's that sword? <coughs> That's it there, so it is more powerful than the sword I'm using at the minute. <coughs> but the sword that I have at the minute actually has uh, some upgrades applied to it in the shape of uh, rune stones, which give it more abilities. So we'll just stick with that for now. So we'll head back here to the guy who gave me this quest. Uh, basically to get my money. Uh, just you, uh, As a witcher, you're basically a bounty hunter for monsters. So uh, I have to go back here and get the agreed price from this guy. On your oh. way. <coughs> Um, yeah, I actually had to upgrade my graphics card to play this game. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty advanced game. Hear about the job. And? It's taken care of. It was a grave hag that dug up the graves and snatched the child. Aye. So, how is the little tyke? Found him in the grave hag's lair. In her cauldron, to be precise. Want me to go on? Might not even said that much. What about my reward? Oh, I've not forgotten, nay. Eh? Here you go. Thanks much for your help. Take care. So, yeah, uh, I had to upgrade my graphics card. Um, the graphics card that came in my PC was just not up to the job. I was playing this with all the graphics turned down and I was getting uh, 
maximum about 20 frames per second. So I managed to buy a graphics card off a friend. Uh, it's a 56, a GTX 56, a f f no, 560 uh, Ti, a GTX 560 Ti. And uh, I'm now playing this. Um, it's actually running at about 30 frames a second at the minute with uh, fraps running. But I have quite a few of the graphics turned up on it now, and I'm getting sort of about 45, <coughs> 50 frames a second, which is uh, twice as good as it was. It's uh, plenty smooth for me. And I've been able to turn a few of the, the textures and stuff up just to make it a bit prettier. So I could get this to run at 60 frames per second, no problem if it turned stuff down again, but you know, anything above 30 frames a second, just my yeah. eyes are not the most, uh, you know, I can't really pick up on, God I'm stuck now, <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't really pick up on frame rate changes unless it's, you know, it drops significantly in a few seconds, I can't really notice it. So running at 40, 40 or 50 frames a second is perfect for me. Um, absolutely love this game at the minute. Let's set it down there. A bear. Uh, I'll just stand up here and throw some bombs at him, I think. <laughs> Get myself in a better boat, oh, wrong button. So yeah, being a being an RPG this game, you could spend ten hours trying to explain everything in this game. So really it's just a quick look. I may do some other videos on this. Uh but really, you know, I've just been spent my time playing this. So just uh, meditating there. Uh, meditating replenishes your health and replenishes all your uh, goods as well. Your uh, usable or expendable goods. So I've refilled my bombs and stuff there by meditating. So I was going to get this on the play PlayStation 4, but with having a half decent PC now, I just decided to go for it on the PC, um, even though I did have to buy a new graphics card. But I got the graphics card off a friend, I paid 20 quid for the graphics card, um, it's a few years old, but it has more than enough oomph, and it's twice as quick as the card that I did have which is only about a year old so yeah go figure so yeah that's just a quick look at oh what's this a bandit camp so I'm about level 14 or 15 at the minute in this game I've put uh, probably 30 or 40 hours into this game already um, it's just a life, a life stealer every time uh, I get half an hour spare. This is what I've been doing. <laughs> I've just been lost in this world. Oh shit. An exploding barrel there. I managed to set on fire with my flame move. I'm gonna get my ass kicked here. Counter move there, short him out. So, uh, yeah, there's the amount of uh, random things that are scattered throughout the world for you to go and investigate. The likes of these bandit camps are all over the place. Um, obviously, you can k you get to kill the bandits and steal all their stuff, but there'll always be like a chest of treasure, which is the goal basically. When you know. Once you kill the bandits, this is what they're looking for. There's all the goodies that they've gathered up there. 
And uh, that's my Witcher sense. Uh, yeah, you can use your uh, Witcher sense, which shows up uh, usable items, basically. Or uh, items that you can interact with. I wish you would stop pressing the wrong button there. Yeah, so the, the story in this game's fucking outstanding. Come on now. The amount of storytelling of it. That's it, Roach. Um, I think it's a, I'm actually enjoying this more than the likes of Skyrim. There's just more to it. It's so in depth. Um, a few of the missions have been a bit overwhelming when it comes to the story because there's just so many characters thro thrown in. Um, Sometimes it's a bit hard to keep track of who's who and who's doing what and what you're meant to be bloody doing. But for the most part, it's very, very enjoyable. Some of the characters in it are fantastic, and I have uh, sort of, you know, taken to quite a few of the characters in it. The uh, the women in this game are probably the best graphics in the whole game. Is kept for. The the women. Um, there's qu quite a few sex scenes and nakedness in this game as well, which I obviously haven't included in this video. But yeah, it's uh, a stunning looking game. I'd love to see it playing on the highest graphic settings. And another good point about this, you can just walk into anybody's house and steal all their stuff and nobody bats an eyelid at you. <laughs> So I usually wind up running about with a pockets full of just random crap. And you can do uh, the likes of alchemy, you can mix up your own potions and stuff in this and craft your own items. Um, which I really haven't got into an awful lot. So that's it. That's The Witcher 3. I'll just leave the video here guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.